Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness, and in today's video, we're going to complete another Happy Home Paradise assignment. I'm super excited, so I really want to get started. I do believe this one is going to be the school. So, without further ado, let's begin. If you like videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you'd like to, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel so we can keep in touch. <laughs> Hi Ness, it's good to see you. Hi Lottie, and of course Wardell. Oh my gosh, look at these cute little items. We did get the mini cafe table before, so it makes sense to buy the large one, right? And look at this really, really old TV with VCR. That's super cool. And I already have this clothing item, but this owl clock is super cute too, so let's get this. <gasps> we don't have enough. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to work then. Hi Lottie! What's up? Are you looking for work? Yes, I am. Okay, then please change into your uniform. That never gets old. And now I have a teddy bear backpack. I've got something a little different for you this time. Remember when we looked at that empty facility together? Well, we got the necessary permits to turn it into a school. That's great news. It is. I was very impressed with the permitting process. It was much quicker than I expected. This is an important moment in the history of Paradise Planning, our very first facility. That's why I need your help putting it together. Shall we head over? Yes, we shall. Oh, look at this little transition screen. And here we are. Not that we had far to go. Now, I think we should start by freshening up the exterior. It could really use some personality. I'd like you to do your best for now. If you don't like something, you can always change it later. Oh gosh, this is really, really nerve-wracking. This is like, really putting me... Oh, that's so pretty! White siding, brown siding. I think I want to go with like a white theme maybe, but brown looks so nice too. <gasps> hmm. Maybe like a tan roof with- ooh, that looks nice. Okay. And then like a beige door, black door, maybe like a green one, beige. Oh, we can even change the bell color, that's so cute. Um, let's with Let's go with the gold bell. I like I like the way that this looks. Let's do that. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty and it gives me like that really like beachy natural vibe. Is this okay for the exterior? Yes, it is. Great, it looks wonderful. With that taken care of, let's head inside. It needs a lot of work in here too. I'm so glad you're helping out with this. So first things first, a school needs chairs and desks, right? When you're ready, press the right and take a look at the order tab to see everything we'll need. Although a room of this size will start feeling pretty cramped if we bring in too much furniture. <gasps> Light bulb moment. I know just the thing. A technique to adjust the size of the room. It's an old trick of the trade. So if a room feels too large or too small for your vision, press down to switch into decorating mode. From there, Press left to begin adjusting the size of the room. Got all of that? It's easier done than said. Let me know when it's ready for me to take a look. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. We're going to design the school now. So I'm going to make this part into a little speed build as usual. But before we do that, I do want to take a look at the order tab. So furnishing facilities. While working on facilities, note that the amount, the minimum amount of each furniture type you'll need to place. You can see what types you need under order, along with how many pieces are required. You can also select pieces by type. So we need one teacher's desk, two desks, oh and that's any of these here, that's so cute, and then four chairs. So these are the required items, and let's begin. I will make this into a little speed build. I hope you enjoy, sit back and relax, and watch it while I chaotically build. 
So I started off by playing with a new room resizing feature. I think it is super cool. You can adjust the horizontal and vertical length of the room. So I decided to max it out and go 10 by 10. And you can also customize the entryway into the room, which I thought was super cool. And I wanted to create this really big and welcoming classroom and focus on science because science is one of my favorite subjects and I just love pretty much everything about it. I think there's so much unknown and so much to discover so it's always been one of my favorite subjects back in school and even now I do keep up with um, I guess learning about that subject so I decided to focus the classroom on that even though the chalkboards are customized to math because there is math and science too so I thought that was really cool and I really really love the items that we were given unfortunately the only thing that I have a little bit of an issue with is the den desk not being an option for the teacher's table but I guess in a way I also kind of understand because well it would make it a little too easy right but otherwise I really enjoyed this build and I really hope you guys do too I do want to say that because you can come back and remodel the school, I might make another one of me making sort of like a preschool or like a kindergarten because I think it would be super cute. There were so many adorable stuffed animals that I was super tempted to use, but I was going for like a college level class and um, school so that's why I ended up using more toned down colors and lockers and whatnot but either way I think that it is a really nice sort of like quaint type of um, academy and yeah let me know in the comments if you finished the school what kind of vibe and aesthetic you went for and maybe some things that you wish you could have used and that weren't offered in the catalog And of course, because it is a science class, I figured that I would include two cute little class pets into this build. I think that it is so cute that they're just like on that side. Um, but yeah, they're not being experimented on. They're just class pets that are being loved and cared for very deeply. Um, it's a little fishy and a little hamster. I attempted to fill the walls up with these stylish wall spotlights at first, but then I realized that they were casting too much light into the area, more light than I would have wanted, and I really wanted the room to be filled with natural light from the windows and the light from the fluorescent lights, so I ended up removing them towards the end.
Here's the part where I realized that the studio spotlights were a little bit too much, so I removed all of them except for the ones in the front because it made more sense to have them close to the chalkboard, but not throughout the room. So we are finally done and I'm super happy with the end result. Let's talk to Lottie. How are things going? I'm finished. Great, now the next thing to think about will be who can we invite to work here? We can always change the staff later, but who would you hire right now? Oh my gosh! Choosing facility staff. You can choose which clients will work in a facility. You can change the lineup at any time by pressing the left. Oh my god, that is so cute. Change member. Oh my gosh, look at... Yes, yes, it's going to be Billy. Look at him, he is so cute. Oh my gosh, and we can change his outfit. I think this is actually a really cute outfit for him, but we can give him also like a little checkered vest, um, a cardigan. Oh, these are all so adorable. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, he's like your old like scientist teacher. Adorable. Um, let's go with these glasses? No, I actually like the first ones. <laughs> Let's go with that! Oh, Billy is the teacher! Okay, I'll go call our new teacher. Wait, before we do this, we need to give our new school a name. If you have any ideas, I want to hear them. Or if you don't right now, that's okay. We can name it later. Let's give it a name. Alright, what were you thinking? Okay. I really hope it fits, but I really wanted to name it Evergreen Academy. I don't know why. I just think it's a really cute name, and um, let's hope that it fits. It should. It looks like it will, but you're rocking. Hold on. Imagine it's just a cat Academy. <laughs> If it's Evergreen Academy, I like it. You definitely want to name it Evergreen Academy. Yep. Great, we've got ourselves a name. I called everyone. Once I got our teacher in here, it seemed like we needed some students too. And now everyone is learning thanks to you. Ooh, we should take a photo for our design portfolio. And after that, another one outside just to celebrate the occasion. Oh my gosh, look at them all studying. How adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, can, we, can I just like poof everybody away? Does that... <laughs> Oh no. Alright, so I think we're gonna take a picture like this and let's try actually getting like a first person point of view camera angle. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, and poof, we're back. Okay, let's see. You know, I think I took this earlier by accident. <laughs> Let's go with this one. It is so cute. Evergreen Academy. What's up? Let's take that photo. Yay! here to take a special celebratory photo of Evergreen Academy. 
Oh my gosh, look at all these cuties. Thank you very much. The island is a little more beautiful today thanks to Ness and Evergreen Academy. I can't wait to see what the future holds for its students and teachers. All right, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating. Ness, a few words. Um, we did it, team. Thank you. And last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. <gasps> Aww. Okay, let's... Oh my god! <gasps> that was so cute! What do you think? Let's take another one. I want to capture Nico jumping. Oh my gosh! That is adorable! I think it came out lovely. I... I think it's perfect. I agree. I think it's perfect too. Now do it. Safe travels, everyone. Oh my gosh, Nico. You know, I think we did a great job. I went to take a peek inside. What a school. It's so nice. I bet I do well even in my worst subjects. Wardell was impressed with how polished everything looks too. <gasps> Wardell. I agree, our school is top-notch thanks to Ness's work. Who said you can't learn anything in paradise? I heard that Lottie taught you her little trick about resizing rooms, so that means, whoa. What is it, Nico? I've just come up with a brilliant idea, but I'm just going to keep it to myself for now. That's not fair. Promise you'll tell us soon, all right? Anyway, moving on, that was a very large job and you'll be paid appropriately. Here's 25,000 pokey for all your hard work. <gasps> wow. I have grand plans, so I'm sure I'll need your help with another facility in the future. If we keep growing the client base, I just know we'll get the permits we need. Anything is possible. Oh, by the way, let me know if you ever want to freshen up the school with a remodel. And because it needs saying one more time, thank you for all of your help. Thank you, Lottie, for giving me this job. I enjoy it. I love this job. Okay, do you want to call it a day or do you want to keep working a little bit longer? I think I am finished for the day. All right, take it easy and rest up. You too. Especially you, Wardell. I know how busy you are with being cute all the time. And let's buy this owl clock. How cute. Thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you all so much and until next time, please take care, stay hydrated, take care of yourselves, and we will talk soon at my next video. Bye!